Well, Michael joins me. You've obviously been uh, following this story very closely. What have you made of it? Well, it's been a very troubling story over the last year, one that has almost brought this great club to its knees and may yet do so. It's not over, there's much more to come uh, and we'll see how that pans out over the next few months. I think we can say a couple of things without fear of contradiction. One is how badly Yorkshire have handled this situation. For a moment that Azim Rafiq made his claims against the club to the recent sacking of 15 or 16 employees here, it has been a test case, really, in how not to crisis management, not to crisis manage. The club have handled it terribly. The second thing to say is, for an issue of this importance, the lack of due process that we've seen. So, in response to Asim Rafiq's claims, Yorkshire held an internal inquiry. That seemed to be limited in scope. They seemed not to be able to force people to come and give evidence or testimony. They didn't publish the results of those findings. And when Kamlesh Patel, the new chairman, came in, he said that inquiry was deeply flawed. Then we had the parliamentary hearings, which seemed to be prejudged by the MPs involved. And then recently, we've had the ECB inquiry, which similarly to the Yorkshire one, there's not much transparency there, for, for some uh, good reasons as well. But it's limited in scope. We don't know who they've talked to. We know plenty of people that they haven't talked to who have been central to this case, and they have recently charged seven people, uh, charged, and then those hearings will be held in September. So it's going to go on and on, and I am doubtful that we'll see some closure here. And for all these people involved, both for Asim Rafiq, who made the claims against the club, and those who he's making the claims against, I hope that there is some closure eventually. And really what this shows is that the game needs better leadership. The leadership from Yorkshire and ECB has been not good enough. Better leadership is required. Because when you think of this great club, this is more cricket clubs in Yorkshire than the whole of Australia. Think of the demographic just in the regions of this ground, Bradford and Leeds. This really should be the beacon of what cricket can be in this country. And let's hope that this club can rise again.